In this next module, we're going to take a look at cryptography. What we'll want to do is we'll want to see exactly what cryptography is, some of the different methods in use, what you could try to do if you need to crack cryptography, and some of the tools that are available. First off, let's take a quick look at an introduction to cryptography. Cryptography is nothing more than trying to hide plain text data in some sort of unreadable content. We'll use a mathematical algorithm, or key, in order to produce the secret code. In many systems, there's actually a pair of keys that are used, called public key and the private key. Each person's public key is publicly available and can be used for encryption only. It requires the entire private key in order to be able to decrypt the data. This is commonly referred to as PKI. Classic cryptographic techniques include ciphers built from substitution, trans transposition, which can include monoalphabetic or polyalphabetic. Many of these cipher ciphers are grouped together to form a product cipher. Encryption is the process of converting the data. It's, the, it's an effective way to achieve data security. To read an encrypted file, you must have access to the secret key or password that enables you to decrypt it. The unencrypted data is called plain text. The encrypted data is referred to as ciphertext. What we're seeing here is an example of how you can use a public and private key pair in order to digitally sign communication. Not all encryption deals with actually hiding the data as a secret code. Instead, what we want to do is ensure the integrity. So what we see here is the sending of an email that is digitally signed with the private key. When the email is received at the other end, the digital signature is verified with the public key. This ensures that the email came from the original recipient. 